To participate in a quiz, the first thing is you have to be logged in. So you go ahead and log in. After logging in, on your dashboard, you see all the courses you have enrolled in. In my case, I have only one course, of which I have enrolled in. All you have to do is to find the course of which you have to do the quiz in. So in my case, I have only one course, which is DMO111, Model Demo. So your course may be ICTE111, GDP121, ECO111, whatever course it is. Make sure you locate that course. You click on it to open it. And then take note that if you have not enrolled in a course, you can't do a quiz in that course. So you should make sure that you have already enrolled in that course. When you click on the course and the course is open for you, look out for the quiz icon. This represents quiz in learning management system. So you take note of this. When you locate the quiz, you click on it to open it. Now we are inside the quiz and there are instructions and there are instructions on the quiz. So you read the instructions carefully. So the instructions I have here is choose the correct answer from the options letter A to D. Attempts allowed is one. The quiz is open at Tuesday, so meaning my quiz is still open. If your lecturer sets a time or a date, your quiz is going to be opened. If the time is not due, you can't participate or attempt the quiz. So you have to wait for the time to be due before you can take part in the quiz. And now this quiz is having a password on it. It depends on your lecturer. Your lecturer might decide not to put a password on the quiz. But this quiz that I am taking right now has password on it. So all I'm saying is you read every instruction here. That is what is going to lead you on how to go about with your quiz. So now go ahead and click on attempt quiz now. Now it's giving you some information over here. This quiz has a time limit and it is limited to one attempt. You are about to start a new attempt. Do you wish to proceed? So it means there's a time limit on the quiz, one. And then you have only one attempt. So you keep that in mind and then click on start attempt. Okay, as I said earlier, my quiz requires a password. So if your lecturer puts password on your quiz, you should get the password from your lecturer. For my quiz, I have the password to be Okay, now we are in the quiz and we are going to start answering the questions. My first question says, how many campuses have UEW? So I'm going to select the correct one I know. Then I go ahead to the next question. Your lecturer is going to determine the number of questions on a page. So you can have about five questions on a page. In my case, I have two questions on a page. So after you finish with one page, you click next to take you to the next page for the next set of questions. As you are participating in the quiz, the time left for you will be shown over here. 
so you watch out for the time as you are doing the quiz I'm now on my last question then I click on next so this is the summary of attempts this is showing that from question 1 to 5 my answers have been saved now I have the option to return to the attempt if I submit or if I click on submit or and finish I can go back to the attempt to make any changes so as soon as you submit you cannot make any changes and if you forget to submit the time is here running if the time is up and you have not submitted it wherever you go to or whatever question you answered will be submitted automatically so I'll go ahead and click on submit all and finish there's a confirmation dialog box I'll click on submit all and finish again okay so this is the quiz I took part in the grade I had is 10 and the feedback is excellent it means I got everything correct now your final grade for this quiz is 10 out of 10 it means you got everything excellent so this shows that you have successfully completed the quiz now you can go ahead and click on back to the course these are a few things you need to take note of since the quiz is timed meaning there's time on the quiz the one I took right now is 10 minutes the learning management system doesn't know that your network is slow or is fast the time will keep moving so it is appropriate or it's better for you to get a network that is fast in your area if you're using a particular network and it's not as fast as you want you can change to another network so that you can successfully complete your quiz before the time is due take note of this to help you familiarize yourself with the quiz activity I will put up this course, this demo course, on the learning management system. So when you log in, you search for DMO, then space 111. When you search for it, you enroll and you go straight to the quiz to take the quiz to know or familiarize yourself with how things go. So you can try it. After that, you can click on on enroll me from DMO 111 to unenroll yourself from the course this is just a trial one you shouldn't unenroll yourself from your main courses you just unenroll from this course this is just to help you to familiarize yourself with the quiz activity that is in the UEW learning management system